I want to talk about the rewards program. So in the past, we had two rings. We had the six-figure ring, and we had the seven-figure ring. And I decided I like to recognize people more often. So very soon, we're going to be introducing a brand new line of rings. And it's called the five-figure rings. Okay, so to get a five-figure ring, you just have to make five figures, which is how much? $10,000. So if you've made over $10,000, soon you're going to be getting a ring. Okay, not today, but soon you will. As soon as they're designed. So you'll get a ring when you cross $10,000. Now $10,000, that's nothing. Okay, that's to silver, titanium, platinum, and a few MTTBs. Okay, that's $10,000. So it's not too hard to get. Now then, when you get to $25,000, you'll get another ring. And then when you get to $75,000, another ring. Oh, and also $50,000 too. Now you will just wear one ring at a time. <laughs> unless, unless you want to wear multiple rings. One on every single digit. Okay, if you want. Me, personally, I, I prefer to wear just one. Okay? So soon you're going to have the five-figure rings. Now, the existing six-figure rings, I want to show them to you. Instead of one, we've now introduced four of them. And uh, let, let me just read these out. So the first one you get when you cross $100,000, it's a blue sapphire. Okay, that's the stone. Blue sapphire in the middle. And these, these come in the male and female versions too. Now after you cross $100,000, your next one is the emerald. It's a green emerald, so you'll get that at $250,000. And then after that, you get the ruby, which is at $500,000. And then after that, you get the white diamond, okay? And that's at $750,000. Now from there, then you become a seven-figure earner. How many seven figure earners do we have in mode right now? Does anyone know? How many? Eight. We've had eight people cross over a million dollars. I want to see that number double. So, when you cross seven figures, you're going to get a platinum ring with a black diamond for the center stone. From there, you get the yellow diamond at $2.5 million. And then you get a blue diamond at $5 million. And then when you get to $7.5 million, you, you don't get a diamond. You actually get something that's worth even more. And it's a very rare stone called Alexandrite. Now, this stone literally changes colors right in front of your eyes. Okay, you just turn it slightly and it will go from green to blue. It's a very rare stone. It's worth a lot of money. So you get this one at $7.5 million. And then after that, then you get to the eight-figure level. Okay, now this is where, this is something that you, you have to be, you've got to cross $10 million in commissions to get to this. Now, when I came up with the rings, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think that anyone was ever going to get to more than $10 million. Because $10 million, that's an incredible amount of money. Okay, would you agree? $10 million. Imagine what you could do with $10 million. You could buy an island. Okay, you could do many different things. So $10 million, I, I didn't really think that anyone was going to do that. And then I met a, a gentleman and, and his team and they actually surpassed any expectations that any of us could have had and, and they actually crossed that barrier. So when you cross $10 million, Here's what you get. This is a gold precedence Rolex watch. It's encrusted with diamonds. Uh, they cost $65,000 and I'm wearing one right now. So if you want to see it up close, feel free to come and have a look at it during one of the breaks. Um, they're heavy, but when you wear one of these watches, you're, you know, you're going to be able to carry, carry this around for the rest of your life and just and wear it very proudly because very few people ever get to $10 million and above. 